part of their so-called act was later filmed. It is the only existing record of Annie Sullivan's voice. When I saw Helen Keller first, she was six years and eight months old. She had been blind and deaf and mute since her 19th month as the result of an illness. She had no way of communicating with those around her except a few imitative signs that she had uh, made for herself. A push man to go and a pull man to come and so on. She had observed that we did not use the hands when we were talking to each other. And I let her see by putting her hand on my face how we talked with our mouths. She felt the vibration of the spoken word. Instantly she spelled I want to talk with my mouth. That seemed impossible. But after experimenting for a time, we found that placing her hand in this position, the thumb resting on the throat, right at the larynx, the first finger on the lips, the second on the nose, we found that she could feel the vibration of spoken words. For instance, the throat, she feels the G, the hard G, G. <laughs> and on the lips, she feels is the, uh, and the K sound, <laughs> On the lips, she feels the uh, B, <laughs> and the and the, with the second finger on the nose, the nasal sounds, the mm, mm. the mm. Mm. The first word she learned to articulate was the little word, it. With the hand in this position, I made the vowel, i. Mm. She felt it, i. Mm. Then I made the T. She feels it with the finger on her lips, on my lips. Then I put the two letters together to form the word, it, and the first word was learned. After her seventh lesson, she was able to speak the sentence word by word, I am not. Dumb, dumb, now. No. no.